Hi, welcome to Faith Lutheran Church, or welcome back if you've been here many, many times. Um, it is the first Wednesday in Lent, and um, this week for the first Wednesday in Lent, we are having an evening prayer service. I don't have a lot of announcements. You can still buy Easter flowers. So Sunday will be the last day to buy Easter flowers and you can contact the office. There will be volunteers in the office or you can fill out the form if you are coming to church on Sundays. Um, secondly, you know, I know you're all waiting to find out about the masks, but I'm recording this before Tuesday night when the council makes their decision. So I'm not able to tell you, even though you are watching it on a Wednesday or future. And I know you probably want to know how Vicky's surgery went, but also that's tomorrow for me. So <laughs> let's pray. Jesus Christ is the light of the world. The light no darkness can overcome. Stay with us, Lord, for it is evening and the day is almost over. Let your light scatter the darkness and illumine your church. Behold, now is the acceptable time and now is the day of salvation. Turn us o again, O God of our salvation, that the light of your face may shine upon us. May your justice shine like the sun and may the poor be lifted up. The hymn of light that we're going to say tonight is actually in the Episcopal prayer book, but it's also in the Lutheran one, number 231. O oh, gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O oh, Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O oh God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. And I invite you to find a candle. I have my desk candle here. Somebody gave it to me. Um, safely with a lid so that we can put it out. <laughs> we thank you, God. For the gift of light. Let's pray. We give you thanks, O oh God, for in the beginning you called light into being and you set lights in the sky to govern night and day. In a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night, you led your people into freedom. Enlighten our darkness by the light of your Christ. May your word be a lamp to our feet and a light to our paths, for you are merciful and you love your whole creation. And with all your creatures, we give you glory through your son, Jesus Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Okay, the first reading for tonight is from Leviticus chapter 19, beginning with verse 1. The Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to all the congregation of the people of Israel, and say to them, You shall be holy, for I, the Lord your God, am holy. You shall each revere your mother and father, and you shall keep my Sabbaths. I am the Lord your God. When you reap the harvest of your land, you shall not reap the very edges of your field or gather the gleanings of your harvest. You shall not strip your vineyard bare or gather the fallen grapes of your vineyard. You shall leave them for the poor and the alien. I am the Lord your God. You shall not steal. You shall not deal falsely. You shall not lie to one another. And you shall not swear falsely by my name profaning the name of your God. I am the Lord. You shall not defraud your neighbor. You shall not steal. You shall not keep for yourself the wages of a laborer until morning. You shall not revile the deaf or put a stumbling block before the blind. You shall fear your God. I am the Lord. You shall not render an unjust judgment. You shall not be partial to the poor or defer to the great. With justice you shall judge your neighbor. 
You shall not go around as a slanderer among your people, and you shall not profit by the blood of your neighbor. I am the Lord. You shall not hate in your heart any one of your kin. You shall reprove your neighbor, or you will incur guilt yourself. You shall not take vengeance or bear a grudge against any of your people, but you shall love the, your neighbor as yourself. I am the Lord. This is the word of the Lord. The epistle reading is from Romans chapter 13, beginning with verse 8. Owe no one anything except to love one another, for the one who loves another has fulfilled the law. The commandments, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not murder, you shall not steal, you shall not covet, and any other commandment are summed up in this word, love your neighbor as yourself. Love does no wrong to a neighbor, Therefore, love is the fulfilling of the law. This is the word of the Lord.
In peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace from above and for our salvation, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace of the whole world, especially Ukraine and Europe and Afghanistan, for the well-being of the Church of God and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house, Faith Lutheran Church, and for all who offer here in the building and online our worship and praise, let us pray to the Lord. For the health of, of the creation, for abundant harvests in due season that all may share, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. For public servants, the government, and those who protect us, for those who work to bring justice, peace, healing, and protection in this and in every place, let us pray to the Lord. For those who travel, for those who are sick and suffering, and for those who are in captivity, let us pray to the Lord. For deliverance in the time of affliction, wrath, danger, and need, let us pray to the Lord. For all servants of the church, for we who pray together, and for all people who await from the Lord great and abundant mercy, let us pray to the Lord. Help, save, comfort, and defend us, gracious Lord. Giving thanks for all who have gone before us and are at rest, rejoicing in the communion of all the saints, we commend ourselves, one another, and our whole life to you through Christ our Lord. O oh God, you have called your servants to ventures of which we cannot see the ending, by paths as yet untrodden, through perils unknown. Give us faith to go out with good courage, not knowing where we go, but only that your hand is leading us and your love supporting us through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let's pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, keep your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Amen. Almighty God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless and preserve us. Amen.